Hey GitCon, my name is Jonathan, and I'm going to show you around Git Kraken, a Git productivity and team collaboration tool that saves teams time. Whether you're a seasoned user or a newer face, Git Kraken has something for everyone. When you open your Git repository, Git Kraken builds the graph, which is a visual representation of your repo's commit history. Each row of the graph represents one commit, and the top of the graph will always display the latest changes. An interactive WIP node, or work in progress node, will show if the working directory has changed since the last commit. The left panel shows your local branches, remotes, pull requests, issue tracking integrations, teams, and much more. All of these sections can be quickly filtered by typing here towards the top of the left panel. And from within each section, you may access additional actions. So for example, you may hide or solo branches from the branch actions menu. Now that's a great start, but how does one review changes from a commit? The commit panel shows what files were changed for the selected commit, along with additional details. For example, if you have GPG signing set up, the commit panel will show what commits have been signed and verified. Click on any file name from a selected commit to quickly view the diff. Here you can easily switch between hunk view, inline view, or split view. We also provide word diffing, a file minimap, and arrows to jump to the next change. From the graph, you may use the shift or command control key to select more than one commit to get a combined diff, which is great for comparing diffs between commits or branches. Files are displayed with the path name by default, but if you prefer, you can toggle to tree view or click view all files for quick access to all files in the repo. Selecting the WIP node in the graph will display working directory file changes in the commit panel. Here you can stage, unstage, or discard changes before committing. For more granularity, changes can also be staged, unstaged, or discarded by hunk or line in the diff view. You can also click to edit the file directly in the Git Kraken editor to make additional changes to your files. Local and remote branches are easy to create, manage, and interact with in Git Kraken. If you right-click a commit, you'll get options to create a branch, cherry-pick a commit, reset a branch to a specific commit, or revert a commit. If you right-click a commit that is the head of a branch, you'll get more options, which include pushing and pulling a branch that is not currently checked out, as well as merging, rebasing, and starting a pull request. If any of this goes wrong, the undo button will take you back to a previous state of the repo. This is really handy if you commit or perform a merge incorrectly and want to go back. Within the toolbar, we also have the push and pull buttons. The push button will push the current branch to its assigned remote, and the pull button can either fetch or pull remote branches. You can set the default action by clicking this drop-down menu. The command palette button will bring up the command palette, where you may quickly access Git Kraken actions like checkout, push, pull, open a repo, clone a repo, and much, much more. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control P to pull up the command palette without ever leaving your keyboard. Drag and drop makes Git operations easier to understand and execute. In Git Kraken, drag and drop one branch onto another branch to generate a list of possible actions such as merge, rebase, interactive rebase, and even start a pull request if your repository is hosted on one of our supported integrations. You can also get a similar list of actions by checking out the branch and then right-clicking on the target branch in the graph or in the left panel. Now, if you choose the interactive rebase option, Git Kraken opens the interactive rebase view where you may choose an action for each commit. On the left, choose between pick, reword, squash, and more. Use the up or down keys to navigate between commits. You can use these keyboard shortcuts to perform any of these actions. And you can also double click a commit to reword or drag and drop to move commits up or down. If at any point you wish to restart the interactive rebase, just hit reset to revert your changes. Once you make your selections, you are able to start the interactive rebase. And when it finishes, the graph will update to reflect your changes. Pretty nice, right? When you drag and drop to perform a merge, Git Kraken will detect merge conflicts and guide you through the resolution. Click to view conflict 
and then you'll get a list of the conflicted files. When you click a file, it will open the Merge tool, which will show you the conflicting changes between the two branches, along with an output at the bottom. Check the box for each hunk of code you wish to keep, or select one line at a time, or all of A, or all of B, or both, it's up to you. You can even type in the output box to fine tune the code even further. Once you're happy with the changes, hit Save or Command Control S to exit the merge tool and proceed to the next conflicted file. With Git Kraken, merge conflicts are less scary and easier to untangle. And now with Git Kraken's team features, you can avoid merge conflicts altogether. Stay tuned for more on that. Git Kraken's integration with GitHub, GitHub Enterprise, GitLab, GitLab Self-Managed, Bitbucket, Bitbucket Server, and Azure DevOps makes it easy to create and manage pull requests directly from the GUI. From the graph, drag and drop a branch onto another branch to access the Create a Pull Request option. This will trigger a modal where you may set the pull request title and description. Once you're happy with the details, click Create Pull Request, and the PR will be available from the left panel. If you're using the GitHub.com integration, Users may utilize the pull request view. This increases your productivity since you don't have to switch between GitHub and Git Kraken during the PR process. Select a pull request in the left panel to bring up the pull request view, which will allow GitHub users to edit the pull request title, description, reviewers or assignees, milestones and labels. Users may also comment on a pull request, which is great for submitting reviews, approving pull requests or requesting changes and users may merge a pull request from within Git Kraken. One nice touch, if you double click the branch name in the bottom right of the PR view, Git Kraken will automatically check out the branch and open the graph. This makes it easy to test all changes for a PR locally without having to bounce between applications. Git Kraken integrates with popular issue trackers like Jira, GitHub Issues, GitLab Issues, and Trello. Navigate to Preferences, Issue Tracker, and then choose the Issue Tracker for the currently open repo. Once connected, you can select the project in the left panel to view and filter the issues. Hover over an issue to preview its details, or click to select an issue and view the issue details, edit the status or column of the issue, add an assignee or add comments. You can also create branches tied to the issue where the issue ID and title becomes the branch name so that integration tools like Jira can automatically be connected with your code changes. You can also create issues directly from Git Kraken and set the issue type, name, description, label, and assignee. Additionally, from the left panel, you may click this menu to view the issue directly in the issue tracker or to copy the issue link. Git Kraken is more powerful when you work with teams. If you are part of a team, the Teams pane in the left panel will populate with a drop-down list of all the teams that you belong to. Selecting a team will display all the members of that team, and you will be able to see the branches and files each team member is working on. Git Kraken will also warn you of potential merge conflicts with teammates by indicating any files that both you and another team member are currently working on with this warning icon saving your team the headache of untangling conflicts. Navigate to Preferences and click on your organization name to view the list of organization members where you or an admin can invite users to the organization or assign roles to organization members. And if we go back to the graph, if you have the author column enabled for the graph, you may filter the graph by team or individual contributors. This will highlight the commits made by any contributors matching your filter which should make the graph easier to scan for work done by your team. Okay, let's put this all together and walk through a common workflow scenario. Looking through my JIRA issues here on the left, I see that this feature is assigned to me. Let's click on it and start a new branch with the issue name and number as part of the branch name. This will check out the branch for me and I'm ready to get to work. Let's pull up the command palette using Command or Control P and then I'll type out open in and select the option to open in Visual Studio to open this repo up in VS Code. Fast forward and we're back in Git Kraken. I've made a few commits. 
and the whip note has the last batch of changes for this feature branch. As I check through the diffs, I can even make quick adjustments using Git Kraken's editor. Very convenient. All right, it's time to stage and commit. Let me expand the commit message box so I can get a better view. And once I've made the commit, we can start a pull request by dragging and dropping this feature branch onto dev. This will give us the option to push our local branch and start a pull request, which I will do. And once we confirm our upstream and push, the create pull request window will pop out. And I'll add more to the description. And also include an assignee, reviewer, and some labels. And once I create the PR, I can access it from the left panel and continue the conversation with my reviewer. If I need to make changes, I can make additional commits and then push them up to my remote. Okay, it looks like my pull request has been approved and my reviewer has merged the branch into dev. Looks like it's time to start my next feature branch. All right, GitCon, you're now ready to use the legendary Git Kraken Git client for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Download it today at gitkraken.com to unleash your repo.